first of all, what do you understand by talent? That specifically is money, right? Okay. When Jesus Christ left the earth, how much money he left with disciples? Nothing. Then what is the talent he left? It's about the master. Sorry? It's, it's the master there is Jesus Christ. And to the disciples, what did he leave with the disciples? The gospel. Okay, so we did he use the gospel for yourself at least? Or buried it? Hmm? So we are not literally taking that as money that the man was That is how it has always been translated. Uh-huh. But ask a question, what did Jesus leave with? Did he leave money with us? Or some <laughs> talents? Talents I mentioned, no? The pastor in Singapore said, he was the best pickpocket. Is the talent given by God, he asked. Paul says in Timothy, the good deposit he has left with me, I will guard it with care. So what is the good deposit God gave with him? One basic thing I been helping, reminding all of us, part of the Bible must be seen in with the whole. Otherwise, from each part we will come to one conclusion. He sent the disciples without money. Money was not the factor at all in their ministry. Stewardship it teaches. Stewardship is of many things he has given to us, out of which money is a very small portion. Many things that are given. One of the most important things is time that is given. Time. Resource, natural resources that are given. These are unaccountable now. <laughs> we waste it, pollute it, everything. Now, the problem is, now you learn certain things. Please don't go with, interact with people and discuss. They will dissect you and throw you out. Let it become real for you also. Begin to live by that if if it is real. Then only you will know it is true. Just because it is taught here, don't take it. You must taste and see this is real. If it is real, let the others see that it is real. If we teach somebody God is sufficient, they must see that He is sufficient in your life. Children must see, must know, sense it without any doubt. Then they will say, Yes. See, when you take a stand with the clarity that God gives, don't expect that everyone in the home will understand you. Not even your spouse. (laughs) Children. They may actually rebel with you. But consistent truth, if it is in your life, they will see it. They are wise enough and they will say what you are believing is true. If you are not prepared, you can be pushed down. If you are prepared, you can withstand. 